He is the latest British yellow jersey wearer. The most African of Britons, Chris Froome and made in London Bradley Wiggins suddenly sped up the history of cycling on the other side of the channel by bringing back the yellow jersey on the Champs-Élysées these last two years. They symbolized the renewal of British cycling. The United Kingdom had to wait for a long time before finally giving birth to a tour winner. Until then, British cyclists were only ephemeral leader jersey wearers, including pioneer Tom Simpson. Simpson. Three years before becoming world champion, he sported the yellow jersey in 1962 at the end of the 12th stage at saint gaudens a short-lived honor since he lost it the following day. He remains the first great cycling champion in the history of the United Kingdom, whose legend crossed the boundaries of sport after his death mid-race on the Mont Ventoux slopes in 1967. They had to wait nearly 30 years to see another British man wearing yellow with Chris Boardman. Time trials are a tradition in Britain. The Liverpoolian racer embodies them. In between 1994 and 1998, he won three prologues. But his story with the tour is a chaotic one, upset by many falls like hearing the second stage of the tour in Ireland. Boardman never spent more than three days in yellow. Happiness in yellow, Sean Yates also only got a taste of it for one day in 1994. Scotsman David Miller, opening time trial winner of his first Tour de France in 2000, only enjoyed it for three days. In 2014 at home, the yellow jersey reaches out to British champions.